Hey everyone, welcome back to a beautiful Friday where we're actually green in the markets. So we're going to take a look at obviously the market, see what's going on there. The Bitcoin and Ethereum, see what's also happening there. They're both in the green, which is great. We're also going to look at the miners. They were in the green, which is great again. So we're having a great day today. And then we're also going to take a look at buying ASIC miners. When is the right time? So I've done some analysis on this, um, did a creative spreadsheet on this as well. Worked on it for the past couple of days. So we're going to look at had you bought miners back at the bull run at the peak at 69,000 when Bitcoin was last year. And what if you were buying right now? So we'll look at all that. All right. And as always, not financial advice. You guys know the drill here. I'm invested in the following coins and companies for full disclosure. And if you enjoy this type of content, please hit the like button. Subscribe helps me out tremendously. So let's get into the markets here really quick. And then we'll get into the other things as well. So here is the S&P 500. It was up 1.36% to 3,770. Dow Jones was up 1.26% to 32,403. NASDAQ was up 1.56% to 10,857, which was great. Bitcoin, we basically went above our 21,000 mark, which is great, which is something we wanted to see here. Let's take a look at the daily chart. We are still uh, looking pretty good here right now on the daily chart. If we look at the RSI, it's at 64 roughly 64, 65. Last time we were here, which is a couple of days ago on October 25th, so almost a week ago, 26, sorry. And the price at that point was only at 20,780. So we're up slightly by a couple hundred dollars, but we're still up nonetheless. So it is looking a little bit more bullish on the daily chart right now. Uh, we'll see if we can continue going this way where we go down a little bit, come back up on the RSI while the price continues to go up. That would be a good sign for us. Now looking at the four hour chart, we're seeing also that the RSI is at 70. Last time we were right around here, we were actually lower in price. So that's looking good also right now. One hour chart is RSI is at 69. We did peak up here, which is good. So we RSI is lower while price is almost the same. So that's a good sign as well for the one hour chart. So Bitcoin's up 4.8% today right now to 21,176. Ethereum is up 7.7% 7 .7 on the day to 1,649, which is also beautiful to see. And let's get into the miners here really quick, and then we'll get into the other uh, topic that we have on hand. So Annie was actually up to date, 0.65% on the day, 244, almost 45 cents. Argo was up quite nicely, 24.86% to 10 cents. Bitfarms, or sorry, BitDigital was up 2.83% to $1.09. Bitfarms was up 0.11% to 88 cents. CleanSpark was up 4.84% to $3.03. .03. Cores was actually down to almost 11% to 15 cents. Digihost was up 6.92 to 76, almost 77 cents. DMG was up 6.19% to 18 cents. GreenEdge was down 1.99% to 81 cents. Hive was up 1.78% to $2.86. Hut was up 7.96% to $2.17. Iris Energy was up 8.77% to $2.79. Luxfolio was up 4.17% to still less than a dollar, uh, less than a penny. And Marathon was up 3.14% to $10.84. Mawson was up 2.27 to 45 cents. Riot was up 5.08% to $5.79. Saluna was down 2.8% to $1.04. Stronghold was down 2.69% to 81 cents right now. So those are all the miners. For the most part, they were green. We're having a great day. Obviously, we're going to have another green week here. So we're, this can be the second green week in a row that we've had, possibly the third one. We'll have to look back at the numbers and we'll look over that over the weekend here. Looking at the network hash rate right now, we're going to go to the seven day average on it. We're going to refresh it and we have come down a little bit obviously from our peak here. So we're at 264 million. We were at 273 million prior to that. That was our peak. So we've come down a little bit, which is good. It's not great because I think it's going to continue going up basically. Okay. Let's take a look at actually buying miners. So I've done a lot of calculating here, trying to get things uh, as close as to reality as possible, if that even makes sense. So there's some assumptions that we have to take into account. So the first settings that we're going to look at are for Bitcoin being at 69,000, which was last November. Uh, at that time, the hash rate was 163 million terahashes per second. And then what I did was based it on electrical costs. So we're starting at 0.095 cents per kilowatt hour. 
and we're going all the way down to 0.045. I'm not sure if anybody's at 0.045 that low, but if anybody is, we'll obviously see how fast they can pay off the miners here based on the information that we do have. Some other assumptions that are being made in here. We're looking at going out one year, two years, three years, four years <clears throat> on the data to compile as accurate possibly data as we can. Obviously, the numbers that are going beyond this current year, which we don't know what they're going to be like, there are some obviously estimates being done here. So for the hash rate, we're looking at 4.5% increase monthly from last year of November to this year. And that gets us really close to the 264 um, million terahashes per second that we are at right now. Price was uh, decreased from 69,000 to now by 10.5% negative a month during this time frame. That got us down to 20,366. Obviously, we're a little bit higher than that right now. And then these numbers here going into year two, year three, and year four are best guess estimates. These numbers can be changed around and everything else will update and populate in, into here. So second year, we're at 2.5 increase on the hash rate, the following year two, and then 1.5. That gets us to a total hash rate of 539 million by the end of the four years. And you can see the numbers increasing here as the percentages increase. For Bitcoin price, we're going up 5% a month for the next year, possibly. So we'll be at 36,500, possibly. The, if that works out that way, I don't know if it's going to work out that way. Uh, at that time, we are going to be much closer to the having event, which I think after that, we may go up much more in the appreciation of Bitcoin. Um, say, I'm guessing 15%. After we reach a high of uh, 195,000 in year three, which would be right after the uh, Bitcoin having event, year four we're going to be going down, possibly back to 67,000, which was our peak here that we had in the last bull cycle. So Bitcoin historically has gone up beyond the previous uh, all-time high. And then it normally retraces back to that bottom or that high in the next cycle. So I'm guessing we'll do the same thing with this following cycle if that happens or if it plays out that way. That's kind of the assumptions that I'm going on here. Uh, Okay, so that's all of that information. Next is the electrical cost. So that's in here, that's inside all of these. I'm using the cost per terahash of $85 on the miners if they were bought back in November of last year. So we're, asking, we're trying to evaluate what is the return on investment ROI for those, for those people and miners that bought it basically at the peak, I'm guessing. Um, so that comes out to be and the miner that we're using is the 100 terahash miner. It's 3,250 watts, and the cost is $8,500. Now, it could be up higher depending when people bought it. I mean, I saw some of them being spot prices with 10,000. So you're looking at $100 here possibly on this, and you can see how obviously the chart changes along with it. But I'm just going for a rough estimate of $85 per terahash during that time frame, especially the miners. They could get these at, I would imagine, a lower price than anybody else that does it from home, right? So that is what we're going with. And then we're calculating the electrical cost here and the ROI in months. So at 9.5, we're looking approximately to be at 34 months return on investment, basically how long it takes you to recoup your investment, and then you're actually able to make something after that. So Based on the numbers that we have above, we're looking at possibly being at six thousand profit, six thousand dollars in profit after you pay it off and you're mining it for the next X amount of months. So this would be twelve months. You'd possibly make about six thousand dollars on it. So it'd be a seventy-one percent return on investment, roughly, over four years time frame. Okay. Now looking at the actual numbers here for the differences in electrical cost. If somebody's mining at nine and a half cents, which is typically right around your residential power supply, you would have nine and a half, ten cents, maybe even higher than that. I'm just going by nine and a half, uh, just for the number on it. If you're higher than that, you're going to be making, uh, generating less income, basically. So, at nine and a half cents, you're looking at 34 months return on investment. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
at nine cents, you're at 34 months also. Eight and a half, you're at 33. Eight at 33. Seven and a half, you're at 32 months. Seven at 32. Six and a half, you're at 31. Six, you're at 30. Five and a half, you're at 30. Five, you're at 29. Four and a half, you're at 28, right? It doesn't make too much of a difference, but you can see on the actual return on investment at nine and a half, it's 71%, while at four and a half, it's 136% more. So you would have generated $11,000 compared to $6,000. So pretty big sizable uh, difference there, especially if you have thousands of these or hundreds of thousands of these miners. If you're at home, then you get a couple of these miners, even 20 miners. I mean, that's a big difference between, let's just say you have 10 miners of these. So that's $60,000 profit compared to $111,000 of profit on these. So electrical costs make a huge difference in the return on investment on these miners. So does obviously the network hash rate and Bitcoin price. Those all play a big role in it. Now, looking at it, we can see that had you bought at the peak at $85 per terahash, your return on investment is somewhere between 29 roughly and 35, 36 months, depending on your electrical cost. It was kind of interesting to see the chart here as it was in the beginning when the price was way up here. Although it didn't really matter which electrical cost you were at, you were still relatively quickly um, paying down the miners that you bought. And your return investment was going pretty quickly until we get into obviously a bear market here like we did this year. Bitcoin price dropping in price, hash rate increasing to 264 million. That has impacted everything and it's long... Um, elongated, I guess you could say, elongated the time span that your return on investment would um, pay you back on it. So this is at the peak. Now let's take a look at the numbers if we bought them just now. Uh, so Bitcoin price is at, we'll use the same numbers as I did back over there, 20,500. Current peak is at, uh, network hash is at, what did I put down? 2,500, 257 million terahashes. Cost per terahash, you could get them now at around 25. It's even lower than that sometimes. And we're going to change the trajectory of Bitcoin possibly going to the 30,000 mark here, which was at 5.5%. Then we had it at 15% for the following year after the bull, once the bull run gets going after the halving. And then we drop back down 8.4%. And then we go back up 5% potentially in price. Hash rate is going to go 1.5. We're going to 1.5, 1.5. Okay. So based on this information and using the same miners, so we're still using the 100 terash miner. The watts is the same. You can see here if this plays out this way, which we really don't know. This is just the best estimate that I can come up with. Possibly with Bitcoin price going up to 36000 in the next year. So we're looking at 2023 being at 36000 And then possibly into 2024, once we get into the having event, which is in March, possibly, of 2024, Bitcoin may start to go up like it has typically. And we, I'm guessing 197000 potentially to get there. It might be lower than that. We can always play with the numbers and take a look at it. And then the following year, we come back down to 68,000, which is obviously our peak that we had of the last bull run at 69,000. So we're right there. And then we go back up potentially uh, after that again, uh, or we could go down. We just don't know, but it doesn't really matter because right now we're looking if Bitcoin goes up in the next year to two years, the return on investment is pretty good. Even if Bitcoin just goes up to 36,000, 37,000 roughly in the next year, the return on investment, if somebody bought right now is about... 14 to 19 months, depending on your electrical cost. We still have a, a, the electrical, not the electrical, the network hash rate going up significantly to the point where it's going to be 548 million terahashes by the time of 2026. Right, because we're in 2022 right now, so four years from now, 2026, 20, 20, we would be at this number potentially. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, you can see also the difference that it has made on buying the miners a lot cheaper. At nine and a half cents per kilowatt hour, you're making $14,000 uh, more per, uh, for the miner. 
you're up 586%. And if you're at four and a half cents per kilowatt hour, you're making 20,000 on that miner and up 810% at it. So based on all this right now, this data that I have here and assumptions that are being made, you're looking to be a lot better off buying in a bear market on the miners than buying at during the bull. And that's one of the things that I learned with the mining shop that I manage is we bought the miners towards the peak. They didn't get installed until the peak came and then we started going down into a bear market. And that has obviously been really hard for us to recoup the invest, initial investment, especially with Bitcoin hash rate going up, everything else, uh, price coming down for a while there. And it's just been hard to get out of it. So lesson learned, one of the things is to buy in a bear market if you can. Now, if some miners are buying these machines at 15.5, like CleanSpark just bought some miners, and you can see here now your return on investment possibly is 10 months to 17 months, depending on the power electrical cost. The only other thing that we can possibly put in here is maybe even if we change this to 5% um, the following year, it still doesn't really change it. What really changes is that first year uh, appreciation in Bitcoin or depreciation in Bitcoin, depending on which way you look at it. So if Bitcoin continues even going flat for a year, we're stuck. You can see that this now changes completely. If Bitcoin just stays where it's at for another year at 20,000, hash rate continues to increase. We can now see that the miners that are higher electrical costs are not going to be basis. They're not going to be profitable anytime soon, unless Bitcoin starts going back up in the following year. Let's say it goes up to 15, like we had it. Now you're looking a little bit better, right? So this year you're not making anything. You're possibly losing money on it. But then the following year, when Bitcoin goes up in value nicely, then you might actually recoup your investment at 23 months. So if you buy now, you might be out 24 months. It's kind of looking the same way it would look like if you bought at the peak a little bit, but it's better for the miners that have better electrical pricing. And you can see it here on this one, which is at four and a half cents. You're still at 15 months out to recoup your um, investment on it. And then you're making money on it. So if we just go back to what we had it at, 5.5%, uh, 15, and then 8.4. This is kind of more realistic, I think. I think Bitcoin is possibly going to be going back up this following year, not sure if it's going to get to 36,000. We may get to 28,000 before coming down a little bit. Then once we get closer to the having event, we're going to start possibly going back up. Those are all the assumptions there. Okay, so here's the breakdown of it, the chart of how it looks like. So this is at the peak, buying at $85 per terahash. This is at 20, uh, $25 per terahash. Much, much greater difference between the return on investments on here. You got 16 months for the best uh, electricity compared to 29 months if it plays out that way. Uh, but based on this information, I think buying the miners at the bottom when, I mean, really people don't want to buy at the bottom because they're all scared. But that's kind of when you want to be greedy and you want to be fearful when others are greedy, right? Kind of what Warren Buffett has always said. And I think this plays true as well with Bitcoin uh, ASIC miners. But yeah, this was obviously very interesting to look at the data on it, look at the graph, how it plays out and everything else. So I'm going to make this available to the Patreon members, uh, as I always do with any spreadsheet that I create. This took me a couple of days to create, uh, but it's turned out fantastic. I couldn't be happier with it. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys agree, if buying obviously miners at the bottom is better than buying miners at the top. I think it is. I think the data speaks for itself now. The data is not actually accurate to year-to-year -year, uh, numbers. I would have to go back probably to 2017 bull run, uh, see what miners were available then. Back then, there were the S9s, uh, which were 13.9 terahash miners, um, and compare that uh, with the numbers possibly that we have here to get maybe a more accurate number. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. Hopefully, you guys liked it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. Thank you to all, my, to all my Patreon members for their continued support. Love you all for watching. Hope you guys have a great weekend. We'll do something uh, over the weekend. We'll take a look at the miners, see how they did against Bitcoin this week. And then we'll see what else we can come up with to uh, make this kind of fun. All right, so that's it. I got, that's all I got. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.